today on Running to Him. God will judge evil and righteous people alike. Do our lives point to which group we belong? Today's reading is Malachi chapter 4, verses 1 through 6, and we'll be concentrating on verses 1 and 2. Malachi 4, 1 and 2 says, For behold, the day is coming, burning like a furnace, and all the arrogant and every evildoer will be chaff. And the day that is coming will set them ablaze, says the Lord of hosts, so that it will leave them neither root nor branch. But for you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness, will rise with healing in its wings. And you will go forth and skip about like calves from the stall. On July 8, 1741, in Enfield, Connecticut, Jonathan Edwards preached his sermon, Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God. In his opening remarks, he says this, That the reason why they are not fallen already and do not fall now is only that God's appointed time is not come. For it is said that when that due time or appointed time comes, their foot shall slide. Then they shall be left to fall, as they are inclined by their own weight. God will not hold them up in these slippery places any longer, but will let them go, and then at that very instant they shall fall into destruction, as he stands on such a slippery declining ground on the edge of a pit he cannot stand alone. When he is let go, he immediately falls and is lost. Close quote. Edwards then continues with this observation. There is nothing that keeps wicked man at one moment out of hell, but the mere pleasure of God. By the mere pleasure of God, I mean his sovereign pleasure, his arbitrary will, restrained by no obligation, hindered by no manner of difficulty, any more than if anyone else but God's mere will had the least degree, or in any respect whatever, any hand in the preservation of the wicked men one moment. Malachi, in his final words, described the sinner's fate, God will no longer keep those individuals from sliding. He will let go of the sinner, and they will slide into the open gate of hell. God has not preplanned their fate. He did not pick out someone to be born with no chance of escape from that fate. Every person has the opportunity to seek after God, and every person has the chance to ignore God at their peril. The sermon provoked quite a response from the hearers. This sermon convinced many that God may choose at any moment to open the door and let them slide into hell because of their actions, their sin. The result of that sermon was the beginning of the First Great Awakening in the United States. The open quote awakening, close quote, lasted several decades through the founding of the United States, but it began to die out, as most revivals do, by the 1790s. Through the 250 plus years, we have experienced two great revivals and many instances where we as a country were saved from sliding off the cliff into hell. But now our feet are on the edge of the cliff and the rock is greased. But God's promise remains with the Jews as it remains with everyone. We who fear God daily and we take up our cross will not slip but be held up by his strong power. But we must be very aware of what we do and how we think. We are easily tricked into thinking that all is well when it isn't, so we must evaluate our daily lives, even hourly, to ensure our continued growth in Him. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, You can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.